Have you ever wished you could have a command in your stream that would post automatically to one of your Discord channels? Well, with the new streamer bot update, you can do that really easily, and I'm going to show you how. Hi friends, I'm Flair. I'm a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash Flair. I also make YouTube videos here with the goal of helping streamers learn how to do cool things with bots and other streamer tech. Today we're talking about connecting streamer bot to your Discord so you can post notifications from commands right in your stream. We'll examine how to set it up and also go through a few examples of how I use it in my stream. Before we get started, I do need to mention that this is a new feature of StreamerBot, so you need to make sure you've updated to at least version 0.1.14. For a quick refresh on how to upgrade, you can check out the link to my video in the description. After you're on 0.1.14, however, you'll be able to do updates from within the app, and you'll no longer have to manually update. But once you're done updating, I appreciate a moment of silence for my update video. Okay, the main thing we need to figure out before we do anything in the bot is what channel we want to be able to post to. We need a separate Discord webhook for each channel that you want the bot to be able to post to. So let's start by going through how to generate those webhooks within Discord. In the first example, we'll be posting a link to a cooperative jigsaw puzzle in a channel I call Jigsaw. So let's create a webhook for that channel. Open Discord and make sure streamer mode is disabled, otherwise you won't be able to access this setting. And then open up your server settings. Click integrations in the server settings and then click webhooks. Click new webhook, fill in a name for the webhook and add an icon if you want, and then choose the channel you want to be able to post to. Then click copy webhook URL. Paste this thing somewhere that you can access later. If you lose it, you can come back to this page in Discord and find it again. Now that we have that webhook URL copied, we can get the streamer bot side set up. In this example, I have two commands that I use for my community puzzle activity. One lets users show the current active puzzle link, and the other updates this link when I make a new puzzle. What I want to do here is also post the new URL to my Discord channel so that people can discover this link even if I'm not streaming. I previously made a bunch of custom C Sharp code to handle this, and it worked fine, but this new native integration is so much easier. All we do is open up our set puzzle action, right click, add a new sub action, go to Discord, basic webhook. I give the webhook a name, set the username to what I want the user to appear as within Discord. I'm using my own name. It'll default to whatever you named the webhook when you set it up too. And then you paste the big webhook URL into the URL box. Then we enter in the content we want to send to Discord in the content box. In this case, I'm just putting new puzzle set up by Flair and then the link. You can also optionally add in an image here, but I'm not doing so in this case. Click OK and then we can go test. I'll just pop over to OBS and type exclamation set puzzle with the current puzzle link and you'll see the bot confirm that the puzzle link is saved and then if we pop over to Discord we'll also see that it gets posted there. Nice! I love this jigsaw puzzle site by the way. If you haven't checked it out you can pick a puzzle, send the link to your stream and then you and your viewers can work on the puzzle together. It can be a main activity, it can be something that you do during a just chatting stream. It's a lot of fun. I recommend it. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. I know that Nate plans to add some more Discord sub actions eventually to StreamerBot. There's a lot we can do with just this one. I've been waiting for this to be released so I can add in a bunch of quality of life improvements to my own stream and Discord. It's worth mentioning that this sub action is also available within custom C Sharp code so you can get as complex as you want with the logic around it. Here's a few ideas I can think of on how to use this at the time of writing. You could record follows or cheers, uh, subs, and that kind of thing into a Discord channel just specifically for that. You could use that as kind of credits at the end of the stream and properly thank people that have given you bits or subs or whatever. Or you could also use it to help you write thank you posts in Twitter or wherever you do that. Uh, you could also post screenshots or clips that you've taken during your stream with a command directly to Discord. The StreamerBot OBS integration has the ability to capture a screenshot of a whole scene or even just an individual source. So the combination of that and then posting to Discord could be pretty cool. A lot of streamers I see have some kind of system where they can record funny quotes that happen throughout their streams and then those quotes can be like brought up with a command. Um, you could also post those quotes to Discord. That might be fun. Maybe a fun upgrade to a shoutout command would be to also post the shoutout in Discord to a particular channel or something. Or for those visual shoutout clips, you could also post the clip to Discord. That'd be pretty cool. I'm actually going to go build that right now. I actually did stop scripting when I was writing this and upgraded my visual shoutout code right then. Is that uh, something you would like to see a video about later? Maybe I'll make that next. Let me know in the comments what kind of ideas you'd like to see done with this integration and I'll see if I can point you in the right direction or even help you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. I stream on Twitch on Sunday and Monday nights. I'm always happy to talk about streamer bot or other streamer tech stuff. 
I'm usually even willing to just drop whatever I'm doing and go into desktop mode and show you what I've done in StreamerBot or how you could do something else. I also do some just chatting streams every once in a while and do live upgrades to my stream with StreamerBot and answer questions that people have. I'll announce those in my Discord. You can join my Discord and ask me questions whenever you like. I'm always happy to help. Now go watch this video and learn about one of my other favorite things to do with StreamerBot.